Recently, District 8 FCA awarded 10 college scholarships, actually 11, to students that have been leading for God in their schools. One of the recipients was Allen East senior Ariel Schantz, who had a lot of turmoil at the start of her senior year. The start of my senior year was tough. I was preparing to go on a missions trip to India, but seven days before my departure, I became extremely sick and had an emergency appendectomy. At the same time, I went through a nasty breakup. The relationship was toxic and mentally abusive and emotionally abusive. A few weeks after that, my women's golf team was canceled and I was placed on the men's team. Even though the boys on my team treated me like a princess, my opponents were extremely offended that they had to play against a girl and weren't afraid to tell me that I was worthless and a waste of their time. They especially didn't like it when I beat them. <laughs> but all that negativity drowned out the joy of my success. By the first day of school, I was deep in a pit of depression and hatred towards myself. No one knew I was hurting so much, and no one could tell that I was dying on the inside. After five months, I finally told my parents what was happening, and I asked them for help. A counselor helped me recognize God's unfailing love for me. I've become so strong in my faith by overcoming the internal obstacles I've faced. Through the painful process of 2015, FCA helped me a lot. It provided healthy challenges for me, and it still does. It's a great reminder in the morning, even though it's early, to live my day completely devoted to Christ. I love doing random acts of kindness for people. Even though I was hurting, I would always bake treats for my golf team, and I like to post encouraging sticky notes on lockers. And I've also taped money to the pot machines with, treat, with a note that says, treat yourself to a drink. Now that I've gone through the greatest trials of my life up to this point, I'm so excited to go to Cedarville University to major in early childhood education so I can become a light in the classroom like Tammy Klum and Kelly Pritchard have been to me. 